Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's Blazer Kicks here, and today in this video, I'm with a special guest. I'm Noah. And Noah and I today are going to be reviewing the naked mint colorway of these Ultra Boosts right here. So we both have a pair, and we're both going to share our opinions on them. But before we do all that, let's see if this video can hit 2,000 likes. Recently, I've been saying, you know, I'm not going to ask for likes and everything like that, but I like seeing them. I like the Ego Boost. It's it's a nice thing to see the goal reached. So if we can hit 2,000 likes, that'd be awesome. And also leave a comment down below right now what you think about these. Just overall opinion. Just I want you to go down there. We're going to review all the cool stuff about them, the specifics, you know, what the collab is. And uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. So the company Naked was founded in 2004, and it's in Copenhagen, Denmark. So it's also a brand. It's curated for women, but it's... You know, it's both men and women, but it's mostly female, and it opened up in 2004. So the color for this Ultra Boost, now I think it's like a mint color, but the color was made to reflect the brand's color itself. So like this mint right here is their signature color. My dad said they were women's shoes, and he got mad at me for it, and then, but they're not, so it's okay now. It's pretty interesting too, because you can tell that this is a European release just by the tag right here. I'll even give you a quick comparison. It's for uh, looks right here. The Yeezy boxes, so this pair right here, my Pirate Blacks, they actually came from Europe, they came from India, I believe, I don't remember exactly, but they're... Did you say India? Yeah, I don't even... <laughs> and then this right here is a US release box, so the, the, the European releases and the overseas releases, they all have that extra sizing right there, and that's just for conversions and stuff like that. Like, along being with their color of their brand, it's also, like, resembling the ocean around them because Copenhagen is surrounded by an ocean. Here's a picture of a map of Copenhagen in Denmark. That's pretty much where they get the tone of the colorway, and I think it's, it yeah, it's kind of reminds, nice, yeah, it reminds me of, like, a seafoam green. Yeah. So they did release December 16th, which was on a Friday, I believe, online and at their store. So I believe this pair was shipped from online to somebody who ever got them in the, here in the U.S. And uh, it's a pretty rare release, would you say? Yeah. It's not. Guess. It's not like they're not jumped up in value yet, but the price is around 350 to 400, so that's not that bad. All right. So there's a lot of unique features about this shoe that pretty much makes it more special. Like some of the other collabs, like with Raining Champ and stuff like that, they don't really have anything that like outlines them from the rest. Like on these is the plastic cage, and on these is the prime knit cage. Yeah, the prime knit right here, that's, that's a yeah. game changer. It's pretty nice. I definitely like it more. And it's even got like leather on the back as well. And like the leather insole. Yeah, so the insole is actually different too. Let me lower that for you guys so you can see. The insole is like like an ultra boost insole like i've never seen before like take a look at a normal ultra boost Surely. this is my super beat pair of white ultra boosts and the insole on these is like a felt like you can tell like you know where your foot's been in them but with these i don't think that's ever gonna happen like the material is much different and it says what does it say on there consortium what is that it's like the accounts of adidas that only release certain things so I thought that was a cool touch, but the the bottoms of them are pretty much the same. And another thing that I thought was really interesting about this was that they continue to use the Continental outsole because a lot of the other collabs, they've used the regular 1.0 outsole, which I think is better in my opinion. I don't really like this outsole as much. This 1.0 outsole right here will always be my favorite versus the 2.0 or 3.0 for that matter. You slide with these though. Yeah, you kind of you slide with these. Yeah. Like, and Continental's a tire, if you guys didn't know. So they, the fact that they did work with like a tire company. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And some other cool stuff about this, it, it's not a traditional Ultra Boost box. It's actually more of like an NMD box. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then on the inside right here, you got another set of white rope laces versus the flat aqua teal laces that they come with. All right, one more thing I wanted to say. I'm, I'm recording this clip after the video. I just want, I forgot to point out. So it's weird because some of the Ultra Boost collabs they have a hole right here, like the SNS I know for sure do. It's a blue ring. But uh, the naked ones have a white hole. The reigning champs, they don't have a hole. So, that's weird. Maybe somebody knows why. That's really it for this. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button. 2,000 likes is the goal. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I don't really do stuff like this that's like informative and review -y type and I don't really have special guests on the show either so let me know if you guys like that down below in the comments along with what you think of the shoe much love the sneaker one CLT this was the Christmas gift they decided to give to me and we're going to be doing a giveaway with them very very soon so make sure you guys stay tuned but much love to sneaker one CLT their shop here in Charlotte and I did my pop up there it's pretty awesome it was a great pop up yeah it really was, it really we, had a, was. we had a nice turnout we did all right thank you guys for watching have a great night day when 
everywhere watching Splizzard Kicks. I'm out. Peace. Peace.